One of the hardest things for a professional speaker to do is to find more speaking opportunities. Well, today I'm going to give you five keys to helping you find more speaking gigs. Stick around. Hey, it's the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. And I'm here to help you defy the odds in leadership and communication. And today, we're going to talk specifically about helping you find more gigs. I've got 25 years of experience as a broadcaster, communicator, leader, and I am sharing from my experience to help you to defy the odds and reach the goals that you have in mind for your career. I'm going to give you five keys today, but they're built on three important things you need to know about speaking. You need to have a system in place to find more gigs. you got to have a system, and we're going to talk about a system here in just a few moments. you got to learn to be intentional. This is not accidental that some guys get a lot of gigs and some guys don't. you got to learn to be more intentional in your efforts, speakers. And third, you got to learn to be patient. You got to learn that this takes time to build up a career from nothing to something that's really rocking. So today I'm giving you five tips to help you create a system to get more gigs and grow your speaking career the way you want to. Now, the first one is you got to identify groups that you want to go after. Make sure you identify different groups, whether they're Kiwanis, whether they're local chambers, whether they're different conferences you want to attend. Create lists of different ones you want to go to. Dream for a while and decide who you want to speak to or what doors might open up if you spoke at a local Kiwanis. Maybe you'll get more opportunities to speak with more business people who are at that local club event. So, identify a group. Second, you want to create a spreadsheet or you want to create a database as you target these events. So recently, I've been doing this. I've been creating different targeted groups. And with my spreadsheet, I have the, the name of the local club or organization. I have the exact name of the contact person I'm reaching out to. I put their email in there. And then I also put in the date I sent my correspondence out. Finally, and very importantly, I have an empty box for status. Did they reply back? Am I waiting for a reply? Am I in conversations about maybe booking with them? Did I send a follow-up if they requested more information? Or did they say no thank you? I'll put a no in there. Keep this database for each one of your different target audiences. Don't pollute them all together. It'll be easier to pull them up and know that this is from that group. And here's your intentional efforts for that group. Third is you need to create an email. Now, don't go gangbusters and give them everything there is to know about you in this email. This email is simply to introduce yourself. What I've been doing is, hi, who handles bringing in guest speakers? Or who can I talk to about being a guest speaker at your organization? Leave it really simple. Put it into their hands. Now, with that email, make sure you put your name telephone number, and maybe a link to your website. Keep it that simple. If you put too much information into this initial email, what will happen is overload, and people don't have time to do those emails on the first volley. They will trash can them, and you are gone. Make it simple. Ask a question that requires a simple response. Fourth, when they do respond, and they will respond, even if it's a no, they will say, not interested, don't have anybody, we're all booked up. Respond to every email that comes back to you. Respond simply with a thank you, with I look forward to talking more to you, or here's the information you requested. And then you add other links, other one sheets, and the materials that they request. But don't do it at the beginning. But even if they say no, reply back to them and say thank you for the time and leave it at that. Because you never know what that follow-up email may do. That second recognition. 
Some people will hang on to that and remember, and maybe you will get the call, or maybe they will refer you to somebody else. But you must reply to every email and track it on those spreadsheets. Go back in and make sure you log every single one of them. The fifth and final point is repeat. <laughs> you need to go make another list for another organization, for another conference, for another whatever it is you're targeting, and you make another list with the names, the contacts, the emails, the response, and do it all over again. But the key is to do one list at a time. Focus on one thing for 24 hours, for 48 hours, and jump onto another list. Because what happens here, speakers, is that they will have emails coming in at different times. It's not a straight line because you did this group and that group. They will begin to overlap by have separate databases, separate spreadsheets. You can now track the responses properly. You'll be organized. It will be intentional, and it will help you to be patient and wait for the replies to come in. And here's the trick between great speakers and those that struggle. You are now controlling the flow by reaching out and not waiting for people to contact you. You are reaching them first to begin the conversation. So, do you have a system in place to help you get the gigs you want? Got any questions? Got any comments? Please give me some feedback down below. Don't forget to hit that little bell and subscribe to every one of my videos right here on Leaders and Communicators so I can help you defy the odds. For now, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. God bless. Have a great week.